So Andrew Tate says that I should show this into a trash can. He says that reading is stupid, that you shouldn't ever read a book. Reading books is a very cheap way to, I guess, entertain. I wouldn't call it entertainment because my brain is far too advanced. I'm too smart to read. I know you're sit there and go, smart people read. No, I need action. I need constant chaos in my life to feel content. I need to be driving a supercar and fucking fighting, fucking a bunch of hoes and champagne and going crazy. I can't just sit there, oh, oh, and the pirate on the boat. Like, just for, it's for people with slow brains. He says that. And is it true? Is it true that you should only take action and never read books? Because from books you get no value. It's just a waste of time. Is it true? No, it is not true. Because I will give you a few examples. So one example is that uh, you want to be an, like Andrew Tate in some ways. So if you have some working out goals or some martial arts goals or some disciplined goals or some money making goals and stuff like that. Okay, you can follow his advice. Uh, but one of the things he lacks in is uh, some sorts of wisdom, let's say. So what I'm referring to now is that some of the things he tweeted and got roasted by a little girl uh, are stupid. Like uh, when he roasted by her, when he got roasted by that Greta Thunberg or whatever he, uh, her name is, when he got roasted, he should have just like did nothing or like replied, oh, nice, uh, nice ratio or whatever. Like on Twitter, I think they call it ratio or something. And he, he should just said like okay she ratioed me whatever like okay nice but he literally recorded a video shouting at like how she is the part of a matrix and whatever like okay she is a part of the matrix yeah he, she is but why would you even record a video replying to a little girl like if she if, if she doesn't know anything why would why would you even bother like his ego got hurt and he wanted to make a video to reply or whatever but there is no need for that. Like when someone stupid replies to you on Twitter or something like that, you ignore it. You don't do anything. Like that's that's basic, basic knowledge, basic wisdom. You don't reply to that. He took a huge job by, by just making that video. Because, okay, the video isn't too bad, but why? Why do it? Like why even reply with a tweet mentioning your uh, collection of supercars? Like, I know that's really nice, and but why did why would she care about that? She doesn't care. Why would you even reply with something like that? Never mind. Anyway, if anybody of you who is watching is like a fan of Andrew Tate and now dislikes my video and leaves a hate comment, like, guys, I'm, your, I'm, I'm on your side. I'm a fan of Andrew Tate. Like, I'm on your side. I don't know what... You are just ignorant. So he has this uh, occult level of followers, like followers, and it's like a cult that don't even question any of his actions. Same goes for Hamza, same goes for Sneeko, same goes for Iman Gadzi. They have a following that's like a cult, that they don't question anything. They just follow them blindly, which is not good, because Andrew Tate is not perfect, and nobody is perfect. And when he said uh, about books that you should never read books, I just made this point to show that he isn't the wisest person in the world. Because if he was, he would never even reply to her or even make a video replying to her. He, he would never do that if he was wise. Like, there is no point of making a video replying to a little girl. There is no, no fucking point of doing that. So if he was wise, he wouldn't do that. If he ever read some great books about stoicism and stuff, he would never do that. Obviously. I know I wouldn't do what he did. So, if you want to follow Andrew Tate in training, in discipline, in making money, yeah, go ahead. That's a good idea. I'm doing that also. But, if you want to be better, to be even better than him, if you want to be, be even better than him, you will just want to read books. Because... If there is someone like, let's say, James Clear. James Clear has wrote a book, Atomic Habits. You know about that book, most likely. It's like a bestseller on Amazon or something. And I have read that book also. So, that guy spent like 20 years of his life researching habits. And he put all of his knowledge about habits, how to make them, how to break them, 
he put everything in one book that's like 200 pages that you can read in like five hours. And if you don't want to do that, you can sign up for like short form and just read summaries and you need a few minutes to do that. So you can literally take someone's whole life of wisdom and knowledge about one specific thing, like habits, take up all of that knowledge in a few hours. That guy spent literally his whole life researching the stuff to write a book and you can know everything, I mean the most important stuff, in a few hours. And this same goes for like a book that's called Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker, PhD. I also read that book, it's like 300 pages. That guy literally spent like 40 years, if not more, researching just sleep and everything related to sleep. And he put everything in one book and you can literally learn everything about sleep, everything you should know and you shouldn't know, whatever, like there is so many info there and actionable, actionable advice. You can learn anything by just re reading the book because there is someone out there who spent 40 years just learning one thing and writing a book about it. So why not read it? You need like a few hours to read the book and to learn someone's whole life of knowledge. Do you, do you even realize what's the power of that? Or even like Marcus Aurelius, for example, that was the uh, Roman emperor. He, prob he was probably smarter than me, you and Andrew Tate combined. He was probably smarter than that. And he wrote, this is like his journal, his thoughts to himself. Why not read that? You need only a few hours to do that and you will have some wisdom that not many people have. So it's, it's like you have an unfair advantage if you read these books because not many people do and most of the people just consume some stupid content on TikTok and YouTube shorts that they forget in like a few minutes from the time they watch them. Like um, Andrew Tate fans, they say uh, reading books is stupid because Andrew Tate says it and you learn nothing and you waste time. But what are you doing on TikTok? If you are like building your business 12 hours a day, okay, don't read. If you are a millionaire and you want to mess around, you don't want to read, okay, don't, don't read. But if you want to be the best version of yourself, to be better than, to be better than mediocre people, you need to read because there are people who were smarter than me and you who put their whole lives in just one thing and put it in a book that's like 200 pages or something that you can read in a few hours. So why not read it? Like, you need to give me some real, some real explanation why not read. Except it's a waste of time, but it's a waste of time, but you are watching TikTok. Like, okay, Andrew Tate can say it's a waste of time because he's like, he can do anything he wants with his time. His hour is worth a few thousand dollars. So I understand and he says, okay, I don't want to read books four hours per day because that's for him like $50,000. But if some of you guys who are watching TikTok three hours a day says, books are a waste of time, you are just stupid. Like you are just straight up stupid and you won't achieve anything. So yeah, that was some actionable advice from me to just go and read books. Like, why not? You need to only read like 30 minutes a day or one hour a day to read a book per week. And you don't even need to do that. You can read 10 pages a day and you will still learn a lot of incredible advice from these people who spent their whole lives learning this one thing that is important. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I agree with most of the things Andrew Tate says, but in terms of books, uh, he didn't give good advice because uh, I mean he, he had a good point of saying like you need to take action you won't get rich by just reading books and stuff like that but you need to realize that n not many people not many average people can just like go and work for 14 hours like it's not really something to be expected from like teenagers we can't really go and do productive stuff for 14 hours and say reading is a waste of time we mostly spend like at least six hours on our phones and like if we spent a little bit of that time on reading books like it would be better obviously so yeah if you are working 14 hours a day okay don't read books I, I will say nothing to you but if you are watching TikTok and scrolling on Instagram like <laughs> what are we even talking about so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you disagree you can leave a comment below we can discuss everything and yeah see you guys in the next video